project, I'm going to show you how I use Dollar Tree items to make a rustic wall decoration as well as a desk organizer. My first project is a desk organizer. I'm going to be using these mini wooden crates and I got three of them and I will start by painting it. I'm mixing water with this matte acrylic paint that I got from Walmart a long time ago. I have a full set of these in different colors and it's the one that I have been using for all my art and craft projects. Mixing it with water would make the color more natural looking. This is what I do whenever I want a stain effect instead of a solid paint look. The ratio depends on how dark or light you want the color to be. I'm using a staining sponge that I also got from the Dollar Tree. It comes in a set with different sizes of sponge. I'm working from home full time and I love having colored pens and sticky notes. But it gets messy sometimes so I decided to make a rustic looking organizer. I'm staining all the crates then I will blow dry them to speed up the drying process. I don't have a heat gun, so I'm just using a regular hair blower and put it on max heat setting. Now I'm attaching two crates together using hot glue. I'll glue the third crate on the top and I'm using a ruler to make sure it is centered. For the design, I'm gluing a jute twine around the crate. I want the organizer to be as simple as possible, so I'm just going to add some petals on the front side. And this is our finished product. I love its simplicity, and now my pens and sticky notes won't be scattered on my desk anymore. For my next project, I'll be using these mini wooden pallets. My mind is so full of ideas with so many things that I can possibly make out of it. For today, I'm making a rustic wall or door decoration using this. I want a distressed effect, so I'm painting it with a base color first. I chose white because I want the vibe to be bright and airy. I'm using a matte acrylic paint from Walmart. I'm painting the front and sides of the palette. Some people like dark for the base color and some won't even put a base coat. There's really no rule for distressing woods. It's all up to your preferences. While I'm waiting for the palettes to dry, I'll work on these wooden signs from the arts and crafts section of Dollar Tree. I will sand it first to make it smoother. I am very careful because the signs are thin and I'm scared to break them. Now I'm painting it with white color as well. I'll paint the front, the inner, and the sides. The palettes are still not dry, so I'm using a blower to dry it quickly. I'm also blow drying the signs. I'm using this vibrant paint from Walmart to distress the palettes. I'm just putting a little bit of paint in the middle and brush it through the sides. Now I'm sanding it to give it more texture. I'm sanding the part where I want the base color to pop up. I'm also sanding the signs so that the wooden color would pop up on some spots. The texture doesn't show a lot on the video, but I loved how sanding the sides gave it more character. Now I will attach the pallets together using a rope. I am measuring the gaps first to make sure the spaces would be equal. I used hot glue to attach the rope. If you are putting this on your door, I suggest using a stronger glue such as E6000. But if you're just hanging this on the wall, a hot glue would do. Now I'm gluing the signs on the front. I'm putting them first in place to make sure it's centered. Again, 
use E6000 if you would be hanging this on your door because it's going to move a lot. I'm so in love with how the color pops up whether you have a dark or white colored wall or door. Rustic or farmhouse decorations don't always have to look dark or wooden colors. You can also add a little bit of light mood to it by using vibrant and airy colors. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for future crafting ideas. And let me remind you, there is no craft that you can't do. It will just take time and patience, but you can definitely do it. See you on my next video!